To what do I owe the honor of your visit? The bold one you are. But who gave you leave to be kissing me? So you can talk. You and your friends. Well, we at least saved your hat. Oh. Have you ever wondered about the true nature of the bond between Hollywood legends John Wayne and Maureen O'Hara? Did their on-screen chemistry spill over into real life? Maureen O'Hara's grandson sheds light on the long-standing rumors surrounding these iconic stars, and today we will explore that relationship along with their life and careers, the friendship, and the whispers of romance that have intrigued fans for decades. Hollywood Icons John Wayne and Maureen O'Hara In the great hall of Hollywood legends, there are few names that shine as brightly as John Wayne and Maureen O'Hara. Theirs were careers that not only shaped an era, they left an unforgettable imprint on the film industry and popular culture. John Wayne epitomized the rugged American spirit. His career spanned over five decades, with Wayne becoming synonymous with the Western genre. But what was it that made him stand out? Perhaps it was his towering presence, his unmistakable voice, or that all-American swagger. He was more than just an actor, he was an icon, embodying the ideals and grit and determination. Wayne's early career would be a mixture of bit parts and uncredited roles, and it was not until 1939 with John Ford's stagecoach that he shot to stardom. His portrayal of the Ringo Kid showcased not only his ability to hold the screen, but also a depth of character that would become a hallmark of his later roles. If Wayne was the embodiment of the American West, Maureen O'Hara was the epitome of fiery Irish spirit. Her striking red hair, green eyes, and impeccable acting skills would quickly catch Hollywood's attention, and she brought an unmatched blending of strength and sensitivity to her roles a rarity in an era that was often dominated by more demure female stars. O'Hara's Hollywood journey began with The Hunchback of Notre Dame in 1939. Her portrayal of Esmeralda would reveal a compelling presence that could stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with many established stars. But it was her collaborations with director John Ford that truly showcased her range and solidified her status as an icon. Over the years, John Wayne and Maureen O'Hara starred in several films together, each time bringing something unique to the screen. But perhaps it was their most famous collaboration in The Quiet Man. Set in Ireland, the film showcased not only their individual talents, but their extraordinary ability to play off of each other, and the movie remains a beloved classic. And despite their frequent on-screen pairings, the pair maintained that their relationship was always purely platonic. O'Hara often described Wayne as a brother, a sentiment that echoed their mutual respect and deep friendship. This bonding would be evident not only in their films, but in their public appearances and interviews. The legacy of John Wayne and Maureen O'Hara extends far beyond the films they made together. Wayne's influence on the Western genre is unrivaled, with characters often representing the idealized American hero. And O'Hara, on the other hand, broke the mold for female actors, bringing strength and assertiveness to her roles in a way that was far ahead of her time. The Silver Screen Magic John Wayne and Maureen O'Hara's collaborations on the silver screen were not only films, they were cinematic events that captivated audiences and showcased a rare and enchanting chemistry. Their joint filmography is a journey through various genres, each project highlighting their versatility and the magic they brought together. Their first joint venture, Rio Grande, was directed by the legendary John Ford and marked the beginning of a beautiful partnership. This western, set against the backdrop of the American Civil War, had cast Wayne as a tough cavalry officer and O'Hara as his estranged wife. The movie became more than a western, it was a story of reconciliation and love, themes that resonated deeply with the audience, and the tension and tenderness between the two set the stage for future collaborations. Perhaps most beloved of all their films was The Quiet Man, a romantic comedy that transported viewers to the lush landscapes of Ireland. Wayne played Sean Thornton, an American returning to his ancestral home in Ireland, and O'Hara, the fiery Mary-Kate Danaher. Their on-screen relationship, full of passion, humor, and conflict, captivated audiences. The film's blending of romance, comedy, and drama, coupled with the stunning Irish scenery and the undeniable chemistry between them, created a cinematic masterpiece that remains a favorite to this day. In McClintock, the pair tackled the realm of comedy with great success. Wayne had played the wealthy rancher G.W. McClintock with O'Hara as his wife, Catherine. The film was a romp through the Western genre, complete with slapstick humor, spirited banter, and a famous mudslide scene. 
It showcased a different side of their chemistry, one that was playful, comedic, and equally captivating. So it's no surprise that their electric chemistry in films like The Quiet Man and McClintock would lead many to wonder if there was more to the relationship. The rumors were not just idle gossip, they were a reflection on the public's fascination with these two larger-than-life personalities. Big Jake, set in the early 20th century, would be one of their later collaborations. The film's backdrop was a kidnapping drama, which allowed for a more nuanced exploration of their on-screen relationship. Wayne's character of Jacob McCandles and O'Hara's Martha were a couple that was separated by time and tragedy. Their interactions reflected a mature understanding and deeper emotional connection, adding layers to their on-screen dynamic. The films that Wayne and O'Hara made together were more than just box office success. They had an ability to create believable, dynamic characters who could convey a range of emotions and relationships. Their films were a blending of romance, drama, comedy, and action, showcasing their versatility as actors. The audience's response to their films would be overwhelmingly positive. Viewers were drawn not only to the stories and the settings, but to the charisma and chemistry of the lead actors. Critics alike recognized the unique dynamic between the two, and their performances would often be cited as highlights in movie reviews, with special mentions of their ability to convey deep emotions and complex relationships. What made their on-screen magic so special was a combination of their individual talent and their ability to play off of each other's strengths. Wayne's rugged masculinity complemented O'Hara's spirited independence, and that chemistry was not only a byproduct of good acting, it was rooted in real, deep-seated affection and understanding between the two stars. The influence of director John Ford in shaping their on-screen partnership cannot be understated. Ford was known for his ability to elicit powerful performances and played a crucial role in their most memorable films. His direction would always bring out the best in both of them, allowing them to showcase their acting prowess. The films of John Wayne and Maureen O'Hara continue to be popular, even decades after release. They're not only movies, but cultural artifacts. They represent a golden era of Hollywood, and their appeal lies in their timeless stories, memorable characters, and the undeniable magic that Wayne and O'Hara brought to the screen. A Friendship Beyond the Screen The collaboration between John Wayne and Maureen O'Hara was not confined to the celluloid world, Off-screen, they shared a deep and enduring friendship that was equally as captivating as their on-screen chemistry, if not more. Their relationship would be grounded in a shared professionalism and a deep appreciation for each other's talents. This respect laid the foundation for a friendship that would last a lifetime. As their careers progressed and their bond deepened, they were more than just co-stars. They were confidants and friends who supported each other through personal and professional highs and lows. Their friendship was a rarity in Hollywood, where relationships are often fleeting and superficial. Their camaraderie would be evident in their public appearances and interviews. They would often speak highly of each other, with O'Hara famously describing Wayne as the big brother she never had. Their interactions would be marked with genuine affection and playful banter that delighted fans and interviewers alike. Their friendship would be strengthened by shared experiences both on and off the set, supporting each other through various life events like marriages, divorces, and personal loss. O'Hara often shared personal stories about Wayne, painting a picture of a man who was much more than the tough on-screen persona that he portrayed. She spoke of kindness, his sense of humor, and loyalty as a friend, and these stories would offer a glimpse into the private world of John Wayne as seen through the eyes of a dear companion. John Wayne passed away in 1979, and the impact on O'Hara would be profound. She was devastated by the loss of a close friend, a sentiment she rarely displayed publicly, but her grandson Connor recalls it as one of the few times that he saw her cry, a reminder of the strength of their bond. Even after Wayne's death, O'Hara continued to honor his memory, speaking of him with great affection and respect, keeping the legacy of their friendship alive. Her interviews and memoirs would paint a picture of a friendship that was genuine, deep, and enduring. Their friendship stands out as an example of a true bond in the often fickle and superficial world of Hollywood, a relationship that's built on mutual respect, shared experiences, and a genuine affection for each other. This kind of friendship is rare, especially in an industry that's known for its fleeting relationships. The friendship between John Wayne and Maureen O'Hara is a great example of enduring bonds that can form in the most unexpected of places, 
In an industry where relationships are often built on convenience and publicity, their friendship would be a beacon of authenticity and depth. While their on-screen pairings are celebrated for their chemistry and cinematic impact, their off-screen friendship is equally noteworthy, adding a layer of depth to their collaboration, knowing that the affection and respect they displayed on screen was a reflection of their real-life relationship. The Rumor Mill – Was There More Than Friendship? The relationship between John Wayne and Maureen O'Hara has long been a topic of fascination and speculation. Despite their insistence on a purely platonic friendship, rumors of a romantic entanglement persisted, fueled by their undeniable on-screen chemistry and deep off-screen bond. Both were adamant in their denials of any romantic involvement. O'Hara frequently described Wayne as a brother, emphasizing the familial nature of their bond. And Wayne, on his part, echoed similar sentiments, maintaining that their relationship was based on deep friendship and professional respect. The narrative takes an intriguing turn when O'Hara's grandson Connor suggests that there may have been a romantic element. According to him, they shared a brief romance, but O'Hara found Wayne too strong for a lasting relationship. This revelation, coming from a family member, adds a new dimension to the long-standing rumors. His claim raises several questions. Was there a fleeting romantic connection that both stars chose to keep private? Or was this another layer of Hollywood mystique, a tale embellished over time? The lack of concrete evidence and the star's consistent denials make it a tantalizing mystery. Hollywood's history of concocting off-screen romance for on-screen pairs is well documented, and such rumors were often encouraged to boost the appeal of movies and their stars. The Wayne O'Hara rumor mill could be seen as a product of that Hollywood machine, a narrative that added intrigue to their films and public personas. The rumors were undoubtedly fueled by the public's fascination with both actors. Their charisma, combined with the era's penchant for romanticizing Hollywood stars, had created a fertile ground for speculation. The public was eager to believe that the on-screen romance translated into a real-life love. However, it's essential to consider the counterpoints. Both Wayne and O'Hara had their own personal lives and relationships. They were both married to other people during most of their careers, and there's no concrete evidence that suggests they ever crossed the line from friendship into romance. The rumors highlight the complexity of human relationships, especially within the public eye. It's possible for two people to share a deep and meaningful connection without being romantic. This insistence on categorizing their bond as either purely friendship or romance oversimplifies the multifaceted nature of human relationships. And these rumors, whether or not they're true, have become an integral part of their legacy, adding a layer of intrigue to their story, a hint of forbidden romance that has captivated fans for generations. The rumors have become part of their mythos and the timelessness of their on-screen pairings. Maureen O'Hara, the Queen of Technicolor Maureen O'Hara, with her striking red hair and piercing green eyes, was an undeniable talent, earning the moniker the Queen of Technicolor. Her career was marked with memorable performances and significant achievements, which firmly established her as one of Hollywood's most enduring stars. Maureen Fitzsimmons, as she was born, would later become Maureen O'Hara, showing an interest in performing arts. Her natural talent became evident from a young age, and she trained at the Abbey Theatre School in Dublin, honing her skills in both acting and singing. Her journey to Hollywood began when she caught the eye of Charles Lawton, a prominent actor of the time who was instrumental in her first major role in The Hunchback of Notre Dame. Her portrayal of Esmeralda would showcase both beauty and talent, marking her as a rising star in Hollywood. Her vibrant appearance was particularly striking in Technicolor, a novelty for the time, and her red hair and green eyes, along with her fair skin, would be mesmerizing on screen. She became synonymous with the format, starring in numerous color films that showcased her striking looks and acting prowess. But beyond the adventure and romantic roles, she also excelled in comedy and drama. She had a knack for balancing her fiery on-screen persona with vulnerability and depth. Her performances became not only visually stunning, but also emotionally resonant, making her a favorite amongst audiences and critics alike. She was more than just a beautiful face in Technicolor. She challenged the norms for female actresses of her time, often playing strong and assertive women, roles that were not typical in Hollywood's golden era. Her characters were not merely love interests or damsels in distress. They were integral to the story, often driving the narrative forward. 
Her personal life, which included marriages and motherhood, often led to several breaks in her career. However, she always returned to acting, proving her enduring appeal and dedication to the craft. Her contributions to cinema became recognized with various awards and honors. In 2014, she received an Honorary Academy Award, acknowledging her lifetime of memorable performances and her status as a Hollywood icon. In her later years, she would remain a beloved figure in Hollywood. She became a living link to the golden age of cinema, a reminder of a bygone era of glamour and artistry. Her passing in 2015 marked the ending of an era, but her legacy lived on through her films and the trail that she blazed for future generations of actresses. John Wayne's Personal Life and Marriages John Wayne is an emblem of American cinema and had a personal life that was eventful and complex like his on-screen personas. His three marriages, in particular, paint a portrait of a man navigating the challenges of life in the public eye. Born Marion Robert Morrison, his journey from a young man in Iowa to a Hollywood icon would be marked by ambition and perseverance. He found his calling in the rugged landscapes of westerns, where he embodied the quintessential American hero. His first marriage was to Josephine Alicia Sains, the daughter of a Panamanian consul in Los Angeles. They would marry in 1933, a union that coincided with the early years of his career. This period would be a transformative time for Wayne, as he was transitioning from bit parts to leading roles. The marriage to Josephine began to unravel in the 40s, strained by Wayne's rising stardom and rumors of affairs with actress Marlene Dietrich, and the affair, which began on the set of a film, was a public scandal, marking the first major tumult in Wayne's personal life. Their divorce would be finalized in 1945, and within a month, he married Esperanza Bauer, a Mexican actress. The quick transition from one marriage to another became indicative of Wayne's impulsive nature and the turbulent nature of his personal life. His second marriage would be fraught with conflict, reports of arguments and misunderstandings plagued their relationship, and the cultural and personal differences between them were too significant. This led to a bitter divorce in 1954. Shortly after the second divorce, he married Pilar Pallette, a Peruvian actress in 1954. This marriage, initially filled with happiness, seemed to bring stability to Wayne's life. They had three children together, and for a time, it appeared as though he had found domestic bliss. However, by the 1970s, it was facing challenges. His demanding career, coupled with health issues, had placed a strain on the relationship, and though they never officially divorced, Wayne and Paulette were living separately by the mid-1970s. His battle with cancer began with a diagnosis of lung cancer in 1964 and profoundly impacted his life and relationships. His health struggles became a test of his resilience and also highlighted the complexities of his personal relationships. Throughout his three marriages, he was a father to seven children, and his relationship would be marked with the same larger-than-life persona that he carried on screen. However, his busy career would often keep him away from home, affecting his role as a father. His romantic life was as complex and nuanced as the characters he portrayed, marriages reflecting the various stages of his life, each marked with joy and sorrow. They offer a glimpse into the man behind the myth, a man searching for love and companionship in the whirlwind of Hollywood fame. His personal life, with its highs and lows, contributed to the legend that he became. His marriages, though fraught with challenge, were an integral part of his journey, and they remind us that behind the iconic figure was a man navigating the trials and triumphs of life.